Yo guys, what is happening among my 12 play games and welcome to another episode of our Minecraft survival series. So today guys, we are starting off here in the world again, of course, as we always do. We start off in the world. That seems a pretty standard. Why can't I eat, guys? What is this new update? Seriously, ugh, man, get this. Guys, I still haven't even updated the city to the new update. It's been, what, like two weeks now, maybe? I still haven't updated the new, the or not the new city, but the city. I'm just, I don't like the commands and... Ugh, like, Mojang, it's not to say that I don't like your update or anything, because it's, it, I mean, it's not it's not the best update that you guys have ever done. I know a lot of people are excited about it. I know some of you guys probably aren't so excited about it. Well, me personally, I'm not so excited about it here. First of all, what's going on with my bread? Because, like, I'm pretty, yeah, I've got B set as my, uh, oh, wow, that lag is just, it's whack, guys. It's really crazy. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Um, Yeah, but I don't know, guys. Seriously the whole lag thing this this bread thing is is killing me here because we're gonna die because we can't eat it's just gonna be that ridiculous trust me the lag here is actually kind of getting worse so i feel too as the as these updates continue obviously the rain is on so if we just reduce our particles let me give it a moment for that all right guys hopefully that should be better i think my particles were already reduced but my render distance was on like 25 so that that's never good um Okay, we need we need we need another chance of food. Not another chance. We need we need different food. This is not working. If we like what like what the heck, Mojang? Aha! It's working. It's working. It must have just been like the rain. Did I blame the rain? I don't know. Honestly, oh, it's just it's it's very frustrating. I don't I don't know what to say. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> let's let's go get started on what we're working on today. We're gonna be working on a uh, an automatic melon and pumpkin farm. And I know what you guys are thinking. Please don't get mad at me about the uh about the mob farm yet why is there no connections i know it's a new update but still they should have patched the bugs before they released it guys seriously i'm kidding you know i'm, I'm not that mad it's just the commands it's the commands mojang oh it makes me so angry i know they're not watching this and i know like they're not hearing me at all but hopefully somebody will tell them how much they suck because i i <laughs> they're so bad i'm sorry but they just are, and I don't mean to hate on anything because I really, I really don't. Like, I, I, it's hard to get me to say that about a game that I absolutely love. But it's so true, and I wish I could just play 1.12 forever because, <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. Whatever. It's definitely cool in survival because, I mean, I don't need to use commands in survival, and I got all these great new blocks and everything. I totally love it. But, oh, man, don't remove stuff. Just add stuff, Mojang, please. I know they were just trying to improve it and all, but it just it doesn't work like that. I'm sorry. Um, what are we doing today, though, guys? We were going to be building a melon and pumpkin farm. I started saying over there, don't get mad at me about the mob spawner. And, of course, you know what? It's a lot bigger of a project than I thought it was going to be. I know I still only have a floor, so who am I to say that? But it, it really is. And this axe is going to break on me, isn't it? It's already at 41 or almost out so so it's not good um but yeah today we're actually gonna be working on something else i know it's a lot bigger of a project i need more time to do it and seriously i've just been so so busy it's been insane honestly with all these videos literally daily videos you guys don't get it it's like i don't have time to do to do that because i'm i'm like grinding on this video can i make these no planks oh that's super cool okay but yeah i have no time to work on this seriously between between running the uh, video game store and doing this and then running another store it, it's Oh, it's, it's bad. It's bad. But, um, you know what? We're going to be totally fine. Um, what do I need though? We're going to be building a melon farm. I know I already said that multiple times, but I just figured I'd tell you again in case you didn't hear me the first three times. Um, you know what? I think that's all we need because I don't have any pumpkins. So eventually we'll add some pumpkins, but for right now we'll just go with this. All right. So the first step here guys is to make pistons and I don't even have iron on me. Oh no. How much iron do we have guys? This is the question. Not a lot, not a lot, but hopefully enough to do what we need to do. I don't know. All right, I found some guys. No worries. We got some down here in the caves. I just started digging a little bit, and sure enough, we've got some iron here. Now, that's going to be 11, 12, 13 iron. I'm probably only make it six blocks long, so that is like the perfect amount. We should be good, honestly. This is a good amount of iron. I always get lost in this place. Seriously, I don't like this uh, this mindset. But I'll see you guys back at the, at the top where we're going to go and try to attempt to make some pistons. Wow, my words all just really jammed together there at, the, uh, at that statement or whatever I just said. Oh, statement. What am I even saying? As you can tell, it's another late recording. Um, yeah, that's sort of the survival. Okay, I ain't cool. Honestly, I need coal and I'm not finding any here guys you know what this oh, this is so annoying we got wood we got wood we don't need coal we got wood where is the there it is there it is okay everybody calm down not gonna lie guys this survival series is definitely stressing me out right about now and it's not just because 
I don't have anything or I don't know. It, it, I love the series. Don't get me wrong. I, I absolutely love playing Minecraft and I love playing Minecraft Survival. But it's just the whole um, gathering resources and all the time that you really have to commit to this that I'm not committing right now because I have so much other stuff going on. I'm just so busy with so much stuff. It really does stress me out because every time I got to come on here and be like, guys, the mob grinder is not done. And it's just like, how am I going to tell them? I don't know. It, it, it is kind of stressing me out. But you know what? It's fine because I... I mean, it is fun. At the end of the day, it is all just for fun. And if I wasn't enjoying it, I wouldn't be doing it anyway. But yeah, I just feel like, I don't know. It may not have been the right time to start a survival series when I did start it. Let's just say that. Because I had a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff coming up. And the series I got going already are hard enough. So it's like, to do this on top of it, this is the hardest series I have by far, hands down. I'm just going to say that, guys. So this is the series I worked the most on. Honestly, we're going to get work done. It's a series. We've started it. We're going to finish it well. And I I mean, when I say finish it, who knows when that means. It could be episode 200, which is fine. Because if it makes it to episode 200, it means I clearly am having a lot of fun with it. So, you know, that's great. That's great. But if it doesn't, you guys will know because it won't have made it. But um, I, I bet you it will. I, I do love Minecraft Survival. I've always wanted to get back into it here as I as I used to back when I started playing Minecraft. There's a piston. I figured it out, guys. Um... So yeah, I mean, overall, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's just, it's more upsetting that I don't have the time to work on it. And that's sort of, I guess, the thing that stresses me out, not the actual gameplay itself, because I do like playing it. That was really dumb, wasn't it? We still got to do the, uh, the, the, the the cobblestone there. There we go. Anyway, guys, with that little rant over, um, we're going to start planting some melons. So we are going to need to grab one of these thingies. Where are they? Um, one of the, the gardening tools. Why can't I remember the name of it? Um the okay i don't even have it here honestly it's too late at night for me to play this game it probably was in that chest anyway and i just don't see it but for whatever reason it's not here we're gonna have to make one aren't we and i've got no iron i've got no nothing we're going with the cobblestone one you guys already know it yes that is definitely how you make one of those oh my gosh seriously ah uh, move the stick i'm also using a weird mouse today i'm again i'm not in my regular studio because it's a mess honestly it's it's, it's so bad and I'm just trying to clean it out right now. Why'd I make a wooden one on it? Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. And by the way, yes, my computer still has a storage issue. So <laughs> if we run out of storage at this point, guys, it's so late. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I, I got I just got to get to work quickly here. It's going to be probably a slightly shorter episode than I would like them to. Again, my goal would be about 20 minutes for this series. The Forza one originally was supposed to be 20 minutes. I think I make my goal about 10 minutes for that because you guys have no idea how long those races are and how long those episodes are like take for me to make and all the waiting that I had to do in between they take forever i'm gonna put it right here by the way it was kind of my plan um but yeah honestly i'm not looking to spend too crazy long uh on these episodes these are probably gonna be 10 to 15 minutes so as they have been uh recently so that's the only slight issue with that how do i want to do this i actually want hi zombie um i want water on this side so i don't know why i dug that out all right guys so i've completed the uh the little area here just sort of like the little starting starting set out area <laughs> oh man what am i saying anyway it's uh, it's looking good just just trust me on this one guys this is gonna be sort of like uh, i believe it might be ethos design it's probably not even his design but he probably took it from someone i'm gonna kind of take it from him and uh, and i definitely like this uh melon and pumpkin farm design he's been using it uh like well i guess in his man cave of course it's kind of the only uh, the only place where he uses it um, and tried it, I guess. But how we're going to do it is we're going to just have basically pistons under these blocks. They're going to go up. Oh, I guess they do have to be sticky pistons, don't they? Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. Well, I'm just going to have to demo the farm here because I, I have no way of getting slime blocks right now. And when we do, we're going to come back down here, of course, and replace the pistons. Um, I know a way that I can still use this. So I'm sort of automatically, I got to move the dirt every time. It's going to be a pain. Don't get me wrong. It's a bad idea. However, just to demonstrate for you guys, demonstrate, that was interesting, um, for you guys how this works. So I am going to just, just sort of show you. So imagine those are sticky pistons. Now we're going to need redstone. We need a lot more redstone. I got to go get that stuff repaired. And guys, the last of the stone is being cooked right now. Perfect. All right. So let's just finish up these repeaters and then we should be good to go. I totally forgot about basically everything that we needed for today's episode. Of course, that just, you know, makes the most sense. Why wouldn't I forget about everything? Anyway, <laughs> we're going to just get to work here on our failed, failed farm already right off the bat. But you know what? It's still going to be okay. Trust me. And you guys will see why in a second. We got to dig all this up. Oh, I didn't even think about that. You know, it's fine, though. We don't actually need... Yeah, we do, actually. Why did I... 
Why did I think that was going to work? Oh my gosh. It's all right, guys. I came up with a solution. We're just going to place the water in all four of the corners. What am I doing? This axe is going to break. I got I got to put this axe away. I, actually, it doesn't matter if it breaks, does it? It's just 41 durability anyway. I don't really care. It's an efficiency one diamond axe. I mean, we could keep it at zero just for why not. But I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. We're just going to put this around here. I don't know why I built that out either. Um, and now we got to dig under. Now we got to dig under. Set up all the... Ah, I should have put those in at the end. It doesn't matter though. We're not gonna, we're not gonna let that bug us. Uh, we just gotta have our water block there. Same with on the other side. Just gonna have a block there. But yeah, the redstone's gonna go down here. Do not break those blocks. Whatever I do, otherwise all of our redstone's gonna be gone. But the basic redstone for this guys, you'd have your sticky piston right there. I'm only doing it six wide, I suppose. Yeah, you guys can basically make it as long as you want. Mind you, your redstone signal along here might die off after a certain amount of time. There's going to be water under there. I'm going to go around it. So I'm just going to do something like that. Join it up right under here. I know it's sort of like a hassle, but that's okay. Did I place one back there? No, I didn't. So I got to break that one just like that. That's the way I'm going to do it, guys. I don't know. Oh, I can't break that. Don't break that. <laughs> I can break this one. That'd be dumb, though, because now I'm stuck in a hole. No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So, uh, so that's going to be the redstone on this side. You just got to copy that over to this side, which I'll actually just do with you guys here quickly. Why are there... Wait a second. Guys, I just realized I totally off-centered this design somehow. Uh, oh, what the heck? Wait, what, where did this come from? Oh, I didn't even get rid of the stream on this side. That's why. Aha. Uh -huh. Um... Wait a second, now I'm confused with myself here. Why is this three blocks wide? Aha, you know what it is, guys? I think this has to be covered and have wood on it, which means that the water is most likely in the wrong place. Hmm. Um. I could probably stay there, can't it? E hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some redesigning. Give me a second. It's all good, guys, it's all good. It was just a simple fix. I messed up the water placement by one, but <laughs> when? That could have been bad. Um, no, no, we're all good though, for reals. If we put that there, we're gonna pick up the water and just move it over by one like so, and we should be 100% fixed and ready to go. So you are gonna need to leave this extra block over here just to fit the redstone in. And that's how big it's gonna be. Oh my gosh, I think I messed it up again, guys. What the heck is going on with me today? There goes the ax, oh no. Okay, there we go, that's better. Now we actually have some sort of even design going out here. Don't don't break that one, break this one, good, okay. We gotta break that one, we gotta break all the, ah, okay, no, no, we don't have redstone, we don't have redstone, we're fine, we're fine, we are absolutely fine. We need to break all of this though. Um, and then once we break all this, we should be good. Yeah, okay, perfect, so again, we're gonna just line the redstone along here. Remember that our water block is under there. I think we can destroy this, we can destroy this, we can just go right around the water again, just like so on this side, and then our repeaters will go in here. I know this is very basic redstone again, and a lot of you guys will probably understand it, so I don't even know why I'm bothering to explain it. You guys can figure it out, I'm sure, but yeah, under here, we just got to join up the redstone, I think, and we should be good to try it out. Um, yeah, this could work as a really cool like kind of auto melon farm for those of you guys who have never seen it before. It's actually really cool design. Is this water in here? No, it's not. Okay, that's perfect. So we're going to put a redstone thing right here. I got to get out of here somehow now. So we're just going to go over here. All right, cool. So if we put a repeater down, that should activate all those pistons. We did it, guys. We did it. So uh, let's try it out, guys. Honestly, I think this is going to be really cool. I've never built one of these, or maybe I have like a really long time ago. But again, just starting out here again. I guess I can cover all that up as well, just like so. Cover all of this up and all of this up. I don't even think it has to be grass. No, it doesn't, right? So we can just, yep, we can plant our melons. And as you guys can see, they're all getting hydrated, which is good. That's what we wanted. We forgot melon seeds. No, we didn't. We're right here. We're all good. We need 12 of them in total. So these have all got to grow. And then I'm going to demonstrate it. Actually, you know what, guys? I think the easiest way to demonstrate will just be to use some of these melon blocks I just made. Place one of them on each side. And now you guys will see, like, as we walk in here, all we got to do is press the button. And they fly off. We walk past them. And these would be sticky pistons, of course. So the sticky pistons would carry back down the dirt, and uh, and that would be no problem. However, we do not have sticky pistons because we don't have slime blocks. So that's going to be a goal of mine, obviously, is to pick up some slime blocks at some point to make this farm fully operational. Of course, once we have our base, we're going to also build one of these in there, too. But for right now, this is going to be a great melon farm, great way to get some glistening melons and whatnot. We still have this zombie dude right here that we had to cure, and that will be our first villager 
Let's see if he's still down there. Hey, buddy, how's it going? We're going to use you at some point. Don't worry. We just got him saved in there with a name tag. But, yeah, we're going to use him at one point. It's going to be super cool. We're going to have tons of villagers and an iron farm eventually, which was actually, I think, supposed to go in the middle originally. But we built the mob farm instead. Is this full yet? Nope. Good. All right. Well, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I know we didn't. Well, I mean, we got a fair amount of stuff done. I'm actually going to probably build this up as a little mini, like, uh, building or a shack. In fact, why don't we just do that right now? I almost called quits for today's episode, but no, you guys get a little bit of a bonus here as we build a goofy little shack for this place. In fact, we can make this place look pretty boss, couldn't we? All we need, oh, we don't have an axe. It, it frustrates me when we don't have an axe, guys. Seriously, it's just going to be too tall on the inside because it, it doesn't need to be big, I don't think. Something like this. Oh, I can't, I can't stand the blocks being misplaced, guys. Seriously. Yeah, something like this with a little ceiling. Yeah, this is all I'm really thinking. Do we have more blocks? We do have plenty more blocks. And now what I'm thinking, actually, we got to build the ceiling first. Again, small building. Ah, I just did it again. It's all right. I'm going to go back and fix it anyway. Actually, guys, I'm going to leave the ceiling off because then it will allow me to do it for the thumbnail. Get a better picture, of course. Thumbnails, uh, they count for everything. So, yeah, I got to leave that. Anyway, I'm going to end it here then. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to go below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video.